Hello, YouTube. Nubi Jun here, and welcome back to Mushiko Tensei episode 11. This is the final episode for this season, and then there's gonna be a season 2 coming out in like I don't know when I'll upload this, but it'll be come, it'll be out by then when this shows up. So I hope you enjoy my reaction to that because I'll be going into season 2. But let's go and finish up season 1. So, one, two, three, go. Why, dumbass? Oh! You came back home? Oh! Because of the explosion. Yeah. Oh, the... Oh. Yo, Chichiraya? <laughs> they were in the same group, weren't they? What happened? I mean, fair enough. Huh. You think? Be sleeping with all the girls around him. Oh my god. But his family. What happened there? So the village just got destroyed. Oh my god. I mean, they did say like... Oh. And he doesn't know about this yet. Ooh. It's as they said. She's really enjoying this just... Yeah. He's still not content with it, is he? <sighs> I forgot your name. <laughs> I was gonna say Alfred. <laughs> Can I call you Alfred? I'm calling him Alfred. <laughs> I know it started with an R. It's not Rufus. Why am I thinking of weird ass names? Oh, they're getting bullied. Oh. What are you trying to catch? Oh, did you catch it? Yeah. Don't eat it! Okay, I was about to say. I thought she was gonna eat it. Well, I, I know they're gonna be dead. Oh, oh God. Oh, 
quest overlapping. He really cares about kids. This could be taken in the weirder context. Don't take it like that. <laughs> Calm down. Don't forget that. Ugh, I hate spiders. Don't forget that you literally almost got beaten up by a grown ass man who was like double your size, but still you were almost. Adventurers too. That's a fair point. Oh my! A sn oh, an almond anaconda. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been recording since like for a while now. Oh. Waited too long. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. Yo. Hey, yo. You went out for the snake? For real, though? Um, is that dude okay? He got sent flying. Do they look okay? Is Ruth, Ruth, is he? Oh, he dead dead. Oh. Can't say anything. Yeah, he, mm. He basically, don't, don't, you know, you know what, yes, good. Yep. It's gonna be put. They don't want to be looked at, looked down at by kids. Yep, there we go. I told you. They knew the risks. Yeah. Ugh! Another snake. Yeah. That's better. Don't treat him like a kid. That would just... There we go. Dude. That was disgusting. <laughs> the way that he was thrown like that. Oh, his, oh, his dead, but oh my, oh. See, this shows that Rudeus is not, yeah. He's, he has his own flaws too. He's only human. 
This is this is what I like about this freaking uh, series. They're making it really realistic, and I love it. <laughs> I honestly don't care about that other group of three. I thought they were gonna die, like, in the first ten minutes. Oh, okay. There we go. Is one of them alive? Oh, yep. There we go. He was alive! A red hood cobra. Jesus. Oh, he's, oh, yeah, he's, he's dead. No, he's dead. Really? I mean, I feel like his legs are like, no, it's not, yeah, dude, he's like dead. Dude, his body was in half. Damn! Wow! Did you see how smooth? That's like sashimi right there. Yo, his spear is something like it just right went through. Oh my god! This is a back scratcher, but you get my point. How is your? I thought he did it on the side. Did it regenerate? Uh oh. Damn! Hey! Yeah, she. Damn! Uh, oh! Oh, that is that shit. Oh, oh my! Oh my God! Oh! <laughs> I thought you like. Cut it on the side. Did it, did it not work? You, th what do you think? Well, this girl is dancing on top of the freaking thing. Is he dead? I just gotta hear. Yeah, he's dead. Blue Jedo. Yeah, he's. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't care about them as much. They were being assholes either ways, but yeah. Today was not a great day, was it? Did they get the... Yeah, they got the... Are they gonna share it with the... Are you gonna try and steal from them? Yeah, man. What the fuck did you do? Bitch. Oh, time to kill him. I don't care about him. Disgusting piece of shit. There we go. Hmm. Kill him. <clears throat> yeah, he's gone into that point. He's gone into that point. No, even she knows that. Yep, there we go. Come on, you know what he's about to do. You gotta stop him.
What? Ah, oh, his hair. Yep, there we go. to stop you look at his stubby legs I'm sorry I just realized his stupid legs oh now you're sorry you got kids and you're acting like this that's disgusting And don't ever do this again. Oh, they're coming for you. There we go. He probably peed his pants five times. Oh, he just, yep. Let's go. Fuck him. I don't care about him. <laughs> no, you, Rudius, you know that he did it for you. It's the same with Eddie's as well. Yeah. <sighs> Copy help. Didn't I bring... I'm pretty sure I brought almond milk. Where is my almond milk? I thought I brought it out. I guess I didn't. It's either that or I left it somewhere that I don't know where I put it. Anyways. Yep, there we go. Exactly. Mm, her, basically. But look at her being smug. God damn it. You're a man. Kept on treating you like a child. Protect. Mm. I feel like he'll get along with, um, God, how do I pronounce her name? The sword trainer for, um, Eddie's. Grisha? <laughs> it's, I know it started with a G. He did promise. I mean, <laughs> your concept of justice, of good and evil, is a bit, it's a bit iffy. Anyways, this is this is nice. 
<laughs> Eddie's on the side is just like, what the hell is going on? You men. <laughs> Aww. Aww. That's nice. Because it's something that you've never had. God, but God damn this girl. <laughs> I, I swear to God. So now they're gonna go to another city. Did they just shave his head? Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Did you have a hat? Please give him a hat. I mean, that's better than nothing. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Boy, you reminded me of Uzi from freaking Demon Slayers. <laughs> it's because of the headband. It reminds you of his stupid jewel thing, even though he looks so much better without it. I don't care about his flamboyant style or not. He looks better when his hair is down. That's cute. That's true of them, too. But you were- what were you doing? <laughs> huh. Do, 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 do. Asada- isn't that where Roxy essentially was? Huh, so, so that's where we're gonna be at by season two, huh? Oh, uh, so they're not, so this would have been in the manga and they would have shown this, but, you know, plot, we gotta, no, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, and he's gonna be training her while she's, okay, that's good, that's good. It's so good. Oh no! Rudy! Thank you! God bless. God damn it, Rudy! Oh, the ending song is so good. Honestly, all the songs that I've all the se all the series that I've watched this this season this summer, beautiful songs. Children and warriors. They get on a boat. Oh, so these guys are going together now. Okay. Thank you for watching. Look forward to season two. You, basically, we have, uh, I don't even know what this is. I keep on looking at him and he just looks, he just reminds me of freaking, <laughs> he does the fucking hair. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, he reminds me of Uzi. <laughs> Anyways, um, so this thing, oh, where do I even begin? The concept, uh, I, he, I like how he's slowly developing. That's one thing I'm liking. Although his perverted antics are still there, which kind of pissed me off, but like, other, that aside, put that box on the other side. Story-wise, it's very interesting to see how he's developing as a character, especially as he learns to... How do you say it? Interact with other characters now here? Especially more so because of how his previous in his previous life, he was just a shut in and he didn't interact with people at all. So this is a new refreshing look of how he's trying to. How do you say it? Um, try and restart his life. So 
compared to the other isekais, it's a big difference. Because from there, like, you see that a, a lot of them are like, oh, this is my, my chance to, like, start a new life. This will be a chance for me to be a new me. They do take it to an extent, but then that concept kind of, like, dies out. Like, it kind of gets drained out because they're... Their previous, their other world con, like, thoughts, consciousness, just kind of sinks in with their character. And it's not, like, it's different to separate. If I don't know how to explain it, but that's what I'm trying to say. Like, differentiating between their previous life and their life there as their character now is a bit like, they just become one. Here, however, the difference is... It's clearly there, especially more so with the fact of the voice coming in. Regardless of that, though, you can you can tell that like there's a difference, <laughs> a big difference. Like he's trying on his own as 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 he lives as Rudius, and then there's the thirty five year old guy who's just there with his perverted antics, like. The development of him trying to move on forward was clearly there when they were showing how when when he was with Roxy especially that's that that development I love because it showed that he himself is trying to move on from what was stopping him from his previous life in the in the other isekais you see that the character that was isekai is like near to like basically just perfect they're not as Gum like as this man that we see here. There are some series that have scum like characters and they kind of like re like kind of better themselves, but uh, how do I say it? It's not as deeply like they don't show it as I don't think they portray it as relatable as this guy as um this show does. If, if that's how, if, if that makes it any easier to understand. So what I'm trying to say is their method of displaying the difference between the characters and the difference of like, not the difference, but like how he has, how his struggles, struggles, how his, how he struggled like this is very nicely done. Is very nicely, um, how do you say it? They've very nicely executed it is what I want to say so on that sense I would give this probably like a 9 is a bit twice 8.5 maybe I think I the one thing I don't like is his freaking perverted ass <laughs> like other than that the I but then that adds to like his his character, I don't want to say it's a charm, but like it adds to his character and how it like, you know, it adds to his character and like it shows like not all things will change, but there's still the development there. So what I love about this is the development. So I would, 9 is a bit too high, 8.5 would be like just the right amount is what I'm thinking. Most of the fact is I love how we're seeing this from our from a perspective where like he's it's from a perspective where you would guess that the people who watch anime would be in his like situation being bullied scorned oppressed all his life etc etc being a shut-in he's not even 34 he's not even 35 he's 34 but anyways but like this is a good in intake from the per perspective of someone who would be watching this kind of series so it shows that as long as there's a second chance you can better yourself one way or another is what it's trying to say be it in be it as a second second life or like you could renew yourself that's why it's not too late basically you can renew yourself get your hair cut get like dye your hair i don't know that's why they have like the high school debut kind of thing you can have like a social life debut you know those kind of stuff so this this one jobless reincarnation the synonyms is even like even better i will seriously try if i go to another world it shows to the point that if we were if we were reincarnated, that's when we'll get serious. 
Agreed. I can't even bother living right now in my current lifestyle. Like, honestly, it's just painful. I, I just, I want to drop dead very soon. That took a dark turn, but anyways. Um, if you like this series, honestly, if you like this series, I wouldn't, funny enough, I wouldn't recommend um, other isekai shows because of how realistically portrayed this series is in general. Like, all the characters are somewhat in their own realistic, very realistically portrayed. Like, you can see these kind of characters in real life. Like, the scum that they are, a.k.a. Paul. Um, I know I know. people are saying, like, you shouldn't hate Paul because, like, the girl... Li what was your name? Li Lily? Lily what? What's your name? Oh, let's see. You're, you're not even here. Oh, <laughs> Lily R or something like that. I don't know. Let me see. Um, your daughter is here, but not ah, uh, Lila, Lil Lilia. Uh, I don't know. Her basically. So her, Zenith, Aisha, and Sylvie is missing apparently. Anyways, um, I I know that both of them are at fault. I know people were saying that you shouldn't be harsh on Paul and stuff like that. But guys, the the scene that they showed, yes, she left the door open and she was like being doing sexual stuff like that. And the fact that she didn't stop him was the problem. But he, in himself, he knows his situation. He has a wife that he should be dedicated to and he has a child. Bruh. He should have stopped himself. Just because he saw another naked woman there doesn't mean he has to go jump in there. He should have He should have at least... The fact that he didn't hesitate was my main concern. It, it's not any... Like, aside from that, yes, they both had issues. But the fact that he didn't hesitate, he literally stared right at her and then walked in. God knows what she did after. She probably did like this, like, come on, come on. But he didn't hesitate. Not for a second. He just jumped in. Maybe it's because of where, of what kind of like background he was born in with the gray rats. Because it says, from how they're like portraying it, it, it shows that if they do have babies, they're very, very like talented and they have so much potential. I think that's what they're trying to say. Like, because they're saying that it's rare for gray rats to have children or something like that. I don't, I don't know. That, that's what was explained and what I understood from when they were explaining about like them being pregnant and stuff like that or like them trying to have a child so maybe he was in that kind of background where polygamy was like a okay thing but obviously it's not outside of his family but that I can't blame I can't I can't put him too much for that but the fact that he still, he did, he don't hesitate. One bit was my biggest problem. But at least he's not, like, he was, he was kind of, he was like, let's say this is the middle ground. He was, he was kind of there when it, when he didn't listen to Rudius. But then he kind of went up when then, he, when he suddenly realized that he's doing the same thing as his father, which he hated. So that's why he, he ran out of his house, household. So he kind of went up again. But after that, he just kind of dropped down. But, like, it's not, it's not, like, dead, dead, like, where you can't see it. It's still there where you can kind of see it because he's still owned to his mistakes and he's taking care of them both. I know that he's not going to be getting any, anything at night anymore, but he's still owning up to it. So that's where I'm, like, okay, like, it's, it's. He's he's at least owning up to it, and he hopefully he doesn't do any weird shit anymore. Anyways, what I was trying to say is, um, in that regard, let's see what's on my anime list that people would read. Yeah, I wouldn't honestly, I wouldn't recommend slime for this. Rimuru, cause I I feel like for this it 
it's gotta be someone that you can kind of relate to to an extent. So ReZero, I think, might be a good one. ReZero might be a good one. Uh, really? Otome game? They're just putting in all the Isekai games. Isekai games. Isekai um <laughs> shows. Like, from here, from what I can see... Uh, Slime wouldn't be one that I would recommend. Honsuki no Gekokujo. Kind of? Because the synopsis of it is pretty similar where where the person who is brought into that world, the main protagonist, dies. But then she's like very desperate to get books and stuff like that. And then we we learn about like how she kind of just the 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 whole concept of that you have to understand with it you get you get to understand like after probably twelve episodes I don't know I I haven't watched the anime but I've read the manga so roughly I think how many how many how many episodes did this thing have I know they're having like like a third season maybe 14 episodes 14 episodes that's with OVA or just 14 episodes as it is huh so I know there's like season 3 coming out as well for this yeah anyways um huh probably like the first 6 episodes or so and then you kind of see like how um they have the consuming and stuff like that where like the magic power will kind of eat your body in and then come it co it comes disguised as like a fever but then if you lose against that you basically lose your life the reason why the main protagonist comes in is because of that so the whole concept of that is kind of pushed in together and we see that there's a bigger picture to the whole thing there and then it kind of leads on to the second season and then it will lead on to the third season which they will be focusing on how We'll be talking about like the royal family and stuff like that and how they're kind of like pieces of shits. But anyways, that's another story. So I do recommend that series. But jumping off from Muso Mushoku Tensei, uh, a bit iffy. From here, from the list I see so far, ReZero would be would probably be a good one, I think. Not 100% sure, but from what I know at, le uh, at least, I think that would be a good one. Because I'm putting this in terms of the main character's perspective. Honsuki no Gekko Kujo is a bit iffy. Might be a re might be relatable, but not not to this ex extent. You have to go with the like the loser concept. Same with slime. Um, how I re uh, how I reincarnated into a slime. Tensei shitara slime datta ken. I wouldn't recommend it. This is more. I don't know. I honestly don't know why this got popular as it did surprisingly i do understand the concept is interesting but like this much popularity i'm a bit yeah it's a good it's a good series i i can vouch for that because i've read the manga and i've watched the anime here and there the manga is getting to a good point the light novel is like up there too but like anyways i wouldn't recommend it if you if you're going from what captured you from Mushoku Tensei. If you just like Isekai, then all of these are valid because they're kind of like... I don't know about Vinland Saga. I haven't watched that. But all of these are valid because they're like Isekai related. Because they put Otome game no Hametsu flag shika nai. Otome flag, that one, basically. But if we're looking at like the main character and like the character... the st If we're looking at story-wise... ReZero, um, Konosuba, yes, I know, Konosuba, Tate no Yusha, mm, honestly, yeah, honestly, Tate no Yusha, yeah, and then, what else, Boku dake ga inai machi, maybe, maybe, uh, Log Horizon, no, yeah, <laughs> really? Watamote? Really? I can see that. Gintama? Is it because of the voice actor? Probably. Yeah. Oh! Serei Genshoki! Oh! 
it's it's also a series that's um airing currently. If you're gonna watch Tate no Yusha, I would recommend you watch Seirei Genshoki because it shows how shitty people can be. I can't explain any more than that. Tate no Yusha, se- I think that's why this series came to be. Seirei, uh, Seirei Gensoki came to be because of Tate no Yusha. Because Tate no Yusha, oh, now for me, my man, I swear to God, I read that manga series at least, at least three times. And I still got so pissed at the people in that series. To the extent where I literally thought, like, um, sought out for that scene where they got beat up so bad. And now Fumi kind of got his justice. It wasn't. It was, it was good enough, but, oh, uh, it was, like, it was, like, petty justice, but it was satisfying justice. Seirei Genshoki kind of gets there. It's getting to that part where, um, he's, the main character is kind of getting the, sat, the, how do you call it, the reparation that he should be getting, the justice that he should be getting, but it's still not there. It's getting there, but it's not there yet. And the series has one episode, one or two epi- one episode, right? One episode left, because it should be ending around something this week. Yeah, 12 episodes. It should have ended. Oh, it ends today, 21st of September. Rio. Oh. Man. When I saw this, I, I watched the first episode just by, ac- like, accidentally. And then I was like, oh, this looks interesting. And then I went to the manga, and I'm like, oh my god, these people are just pieces of shit. And then it just reminded me of um, Tate no Yusha, which is something I would recommend as soon as... It, it's just like a... It, it's not a blanket copy, but it's... Concept-wise, it's very similar, so it could you could connect it one to the other. Um, so there's that. Um, but in regards to this, I would probably recommend Tate no Yusha, Konosuba... Konosuba for, like, more of the comedy. This is more philosophical and, like... If we do it in like the the serious order, maybe I don't know about Re Zero because I don't know too much about it, but I know that I know just enough about the series to kind of recommend. I feel like Re Zero might be here, Mushoku Tensei would be here. Yeah, Re Zero, Mushoku Tensei. Mm, Tate no Yusha and then Konosuba. In terms of seriousness. So Konosuba would be dead last. You obviously know why. But yeah, that would be my recommend. That would be my personal recommendations. If you like uh, Mushoku Tensei. But yeah. Overall, I think it was like, it was a, a solid 8.5. 9 would be a bit difficult because I'm only doing this mainly because I didn't like the character's perverted personality. If not, it would have been like a 9.5 or 9. But I, I feel like that would be giving it too much credit especially because there's a second season and when it comes to second seasons i would usually wait until i see the whole thing and see like from a viewer's perspective who hasn't read the manga what how how much of the story was like nicely portrayed and like whether this it would be convincing enough to for me to read the manga or like whether i it would be better for me to read the manga or watch the anime basically or like would it would you recommend would i recommend you to like watch the anime or like read the manga honestly i would tell you to do both because i usually do both but anyways that aside 8.5 would recommend if you watch for you to watch other series like ReZero, Konosuba, Tate no Yusha, Seirei Genshoki, or whatever. But yeah. If you just like Isekai just in general, you can you can watch the other Isekai a- animes as well. But this one is more of the It's not one of the it's not a lighthearted one. It's definitely not a lighthearted one. It's more of like a development journey of like a useless neat who who didn't have who had a very closed in surrounding and just kind of died 
pretty sadly too without uh, having like proper interactions and just getting backstabbed the thing is it's so realistic like that those kind of things have clearly happened to people i can say it to an extent because i have been bullied and i understand that feeling and stuff like that and the fact of like being scared to of going to communicate with people because of because you're afraid of being backstabbed it's a common occurrence for humans we're all humans and it shows that humans can be the most scariest thing more so than actual wild animals moving the depressing stuff aside i enjoyed this series i shall see you in the second season which will be airing probably sometime next month or like probably in october i know it's airing in october so i hope you enjoyed that i'll see you in the next video ciao